Hello and welcome to this course on MATLAB programming for numerical computations. We are in the 12th which is the last week of this course and this week we are wrapping up what we have studied in the last 11 weeks by taking up certain examples to demonstrate the real power of numerical techniques. Okay? So, in this particular lecture what I am going to sh show you is an example that we had taken in week 5. In week 5 we solved a, a, a problem using Newton Raphson's approach and in this particular week we are going to solve the same problem but instead of using analytical derivative we are going to use numerical differentiation. Okay? So, let us go on to this particular problem. Okay? So, what we did in week number 5 is given a function fx equal to 2 minus x plus ln x use Newton Raphson in order to find the solution. So, let us go to MATLAB and let us write down again what we, we had done in week number 5. Okay, let us say edit Newt Raph 2. Okay, let us function file. In our fun x Okay, so this was the function. Let us say you wanted to make an anonymous function. Okay? It is quite easy to make an anonymous function. Okay? So, if you wanted to make an anonymous function of this type, all you needed to do is at x, this becomes an anonymous function and we can call this nothing but n r fun. Okay? That is that's basically what is there with, with anonymous function. You remember in week 2 of this course, I had talked a little bit about anon anonymous functions. Hopefully, by now, you have enough experience with MATLAB that you might start looking at using anon anonymous functions for relatively simpler functions. Okay? And this is one of the ways in which you can write anonymous functions. So, let me solve this problem using this anonymous function in our fun as shown over here. Okay? So, x naught that we said was 1.2 okay? and let us write down our uh, Newton Raphson's method. So, the Newton Raphson's method is Okay. And f dash for this was minus 1 plus 1 by x. Okay. So, we will do this iteratively. Okay. So, let us say uh, our tolerance was 1e minus 4, I think that is what we had taken in week number 4, uh, week number 5 if I remember correctly. And uh, yeah, so my max height is equal to 50 for i uh, equal to 1 to Okay. So, f is nothing but n r fun x okay. and let us initialize x equal to x naught d f is nothing but minus 1 plus 1 by x x nu is nothing but x minus f by df 
or is nothing but a b as x minus x nu. Okay, so this was our Newton Raphson and let us also print out a few things. Okay, so what I am doing over here, I am just displaying at ith iteration the value of x is so and so and the value of error is so and so. Okay, so this was the traditional Newton Raphson method. Why could we use the traditional Newton Raphson method? Because fx was very cleanly given and it was easy to differentiate fx. Okay, so let us solve this uh, or let us run this and see what results we get. Okay. So, these are the 5 iterations, we started off with the initial guess of 1.2 and then in 5 steps we were able to converge within the given tolerance value. Okay. What do we do next is instead of f dash x is given to us, let us say if f dash x was not given or if f dash x was very complex to actually uh, obtain by hand. Okay, then what do we do that then we will use numerical differentiation which is okay. So, let us do that right. So, in this case this is what to what is to be replaced okay if df by dx cannot be com computed, we can use the numerical derivative. Okay. What does numerical derivative mean? df is nothing but f of x plus 1 minus f of x minus 1 divided by 2h, 2 into h what was f? f is nothing but nr fun x plus h minus nr fun x minus h divided by 2h okay and let us also define h equal to 1e minus 6 okay so what did we do we wrote that entire newton raphson code once again just to refresh our memory Okay, df value that we had computed as minus 1 plus 1 by x, we just replaced it with the numerical derivative. For the numerical derivative, we have taken h as 10 to the power minus 6. Why 10 to the power minus 6? That was what we discussed in week number 6. For central difference formula, the best h is approximately epsilon to the power one third. Okay epsilon a is 10 to the power minus 16, epsilon to the power 1 third which we have seen earlier is approximately 10 to the power minus 6. So, that is the value that we have used. Okay. So, hopefully now this will run without an error and let us see what we get. So, go over here and I will run this. 
and this is what we get. Okay? The first set of guys were calculated using the exact derivative calculated using pen and paper. The next set is calculated using the numerical derivative. As you can see, the results using newton raphson numerical derivatives comes fairly close in this particular example to newton raphson using analytical derivative or hand calculated derivative. Okay? So, this is becomes one of the more powerful features of numerical techniques. Let us talk about the uh, shooting method that we did in the previous video. Okay. Now, in shooting method, if you wanted to solve the shooting method using Newton Raphson's approach, okay, it is going to be very difficult to calculate numerical, sorry, it was going to be very difficult to calculate the analytical derivative. Why? Because we have an ODE IVP and ODE IVP, how much it deviates from the target boundary condition is what we calculate in shooting method. Okay. But if you were to use Newton Raphson method with numerical derivatives, you can easily compute this. Okay. This is not the only example where, where Newton Raphson with numerical derivative is useful. In fact, the F sol method that we talked about uses a variation of Newton Raphson's with numerical derivative. Actually, it uses a gradient descent approach with numerical derivative. Okay. So, combination of numerical derivative with a nonlinear equation solving approach is something that is really very powerful. It is something that is used in all commercial codes as well. Okay? So, therefore, this is a prime example of combining two different numerical techniques in order to solve complex problems uh, uh, very efficiently. Okay? So, that is what I wanted to cover in this particular video. I come to the end of this lecture and I hope you enjoyed watching this lecture where we are trying to combine two different numerical techniques in order to solve a problem of interest as scientists and engineers. Thanks for watching and bye.